So, and this is very important in reference to the situation. Most situations are like this, obviously. These people have kidnapped me from my real life and my real family history. And hello, supermodel girlfriends that I've had in the past or female friends, you know. They, you know, there's even records of these men kidnapping me from girls that I was dating at the time, or a girl that I was dating, and a girl that was going to be a potential wife at one time or the other, you know, or, you know, in reference to history of things where these people had kidnapped me from a fiancé or a girlfriend that I was dating at that time. And those girls can make YouTube videos and... It's always, you, you got to get it on the record too because it's always going to be court cases of these men kidnapping me from females or kidnapping me from a girl that was a potential wife or a fiance or girls that I had dated. This is very important because everything's going to be court cases. So in reference to time and dates and police records and hello uh, supermodels and that live in different cities and states that was out in Hollywood or in the modeling industry. I'm just going to say that generally. So, you know, the point of information of these people terrorizing my life, trying to trash my life all the time. Now, my financial history of my parents and the bloodline of my family history is documented. And these people are trying to steal my accomplishments with their fake faces or their plastic surgery or they're impersonators. They're still hitting me in the teeth, man. That hurts every time. They're real teeth, you stupid ass. You think it's funny, don't you? Somebody's going to put you in the clown Duncan booth, man. Or somebody's going to be putting you on uh, one of the... You ever seen those at the carnival where the clown sits on that, that seat and then they throw baseballs at it and it, then the clown falls in the water? You ever seen that? You know, there's a lot of things that these people need to get prosecuted for. Maybe some I'll get medieval on your ass in the courtroom or in prison when you go to prison, government man. Maybe you'll be locked in a dungeon. Now, in reference to my uh, family history, it's very important. You know, I'm the owner of my mother and father's estates, no matter what anybody says. And a reference to these people and their manipulations and their abuses and their crimes of slandering my character, where they have kidnapped me from my real life, my real parents' mansions. And my parents owned the fucking neighborhoods in a lot of places. Like, my father owned Beverly Hills and Bel Air. You know that, right? And these bad political people had kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions. It's time and dated, isn't it? And some of the maids and butlers that have known me growing up said hello, I guess. Hopefully people are still alive. You know, this is very serious. And uh, still being held hostage. If anybody sent anything in the post mail, I haven't received nothing yet. I've got, you know, things from when I ordered something from Walmart for my e-bike, you know, inexpensive things or something. But, you know, Rolls Royce said hello. I haven't received nothing. You know, I don't know what to say, you know. I haven't received nothing from anywhere. But uh, these uh, people that kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions, you know, this is very important. Ask those people why they kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions and how much money they tried to steal from my mother and father's mansions in Beverly Hills and which banks did those people go to when they stole money and they tried to exchange money for newer money these people that stole those people need to go into court but you know these people have tried to play this game of kidnapping me from my mother and father's mansions and then slandering my character like they're trying to pile their shit life of their bad behavior and their bad conduct or their bad upbringing or their their uh, situations of their abusive dysfunctional family terrorism game of them terrorizing my life. I'm an only child, man. I'm the only child of my mother and father. 
and they have to arrest all the people that claim they thought I was their child. And hello, safety families in Hollywood. You know, this is that's a different story in reference to characters I've played in movies and TV shows and publicity acknowledgments of some things. But but those people are there's people trying to steal those uh, character names of where I performed in music or mu movies or TV shows. You know, and uh, you know, in reference to me moving, uh, of course, I need keys to a property. I need a you know an itinerary of information. Haven't received nothing yet. And uh, the satellite man's hitting me in the teeth. And we need all the racist things and all the slanderous things these people have said about me or my mother and father and family history of these people abusing me and terrorizing me. We need to know where these people came from. They're still hitting me across the teeth, man. And... In reverence to, you know, the situation, such as these people kidnapping me from uh, girlfriends. Yeah, and, and uh, I don't know, hello, Kate Moss. And uh, somebody said that, you know, in reverence to Kate Moss, you know, she has photographs with me, right? From a long time ago in Hollywood or a lot of other celebrities do too. But then these government agents tried to switch all the photographs with somebody else. I don't know if which pictures Kate Moss might have or any of the other supermodels or Nikki Taylor or or uh, any of the other supermodels or actresses or movie stars that have known me growing up. But uh, in reverence to these government agents had tried to switch documents. They tried to switch photographs with their own government impersonators that were people that was on their government payroll. And those people need to go into court. And then, you know, the CIA man has tried to communicate shit before, too. He's tried to say, oh, they thought if their people had a need to steal other people's property and money and identities, they said that their CIA or FBI people thought that since a person would not comply to surrender their wealth or identity to criminals in government... That their people thought they had a right stealing people's identities and people's money and people's land or something. That satellite man has communicated that shit before. There's some satellite controller that keeps saying that him and his German race or Middle Eastern race or whatever they are claimed that they thought if they had a need or a want or some type of inclination of their fantasies that they thought that they would totally disrespect the facts of law and they would totally disrespect the rights of a person or people and then their people would try to steal everything because they claimed they thought they had a need no my mother and father's estates are private estates my parents gave me everything when I was a little boy, when both my parents was alive. And I'm the owner of the estates. My parents gave me everything when I didn't have a girlfriend, when I hadn't dated any girls, when I didn't have children. or I don't, you know, I don't know if I have any children. Nobody ever calls. Nobody ever sent a letter. And either way, the role protocols are prenup. So in reference to that, I'm the owner. And I'm the king or of my mother and father's estates, if that's some type of theory that somebody wants to hear. I'm the head honcho of my mother and father's estates forever. I'm the owner of my mother and father's estates forever. I'm the highest ranking person of my mother and father's estates and only person of my mother and father's estates forever. Even if my when my parents come back to life, when they come back to life, I'm the owner. Forever. And of course, you know, when my parents come back to life, you know, there'd be DNA information and other things in the future, too. So, you know, it's very important. And if my grandfathers come back to life, you know, we have to see how, the, how things go, hopefully. But, you know, in reference to these people, these females trying to steal everything from me, you know, don't forget, my parents was working as executives when they had gave me everything. 
meaning when my parents gave me everything. They even have records in California, too. And uh, other things in reference to history and hello in reference to the steakhouse next to uh, Warner Brothers Studios and and uh, Barham Street. It's not, I don't know if it's on Barham Street, but Barham over there and Ventura Boulevard. How you guys doing? And hello, Hollywood. Lots of things of importance. Hello, Beverly Hills Council and, you know, e-bike riders in Hollywood and nationwide. How's everybody doing? Friendly acknowledgments. But, you know, in reverence to... Uh, now, these people that are that are playing these games, they kidnapped me and then tried to pile a bunch of shit lies on me. They even make up shit, claiming they thought I started this. When they trespassed on my mother and father's property and they kidnapped me. They even kidnapped me from the studio. They've kidnapped me from concerts before. They kidnapped me from girlfriends before. It's all on record, too. They've tried to murder me at businesses. They tried to murder me on jobs when I've worked on jobs. They're trying to steal the monies that my parents had set up for me. It's like these people tried to play the switcheroo game on everything. And these people got to get prosecuted for their crimes, man. No protocol of my identities in the media. It's been there since I was born. It's there forever, too. It's never going to change. And don't forget, I have a very long lifespan. And, you know, this government man has tried to say shit like, oh, he thought he'd make you damaged goods so he could be claiming to be better than you. Or No, no, no. I'm an only child, you sicko. I am an only child. But, you know, in reference to celebrity families that know me, you know, there's people that have known me in, in the media and, like, there's pretend families and media and certain acknowledgements of things, you know. But, you know, for like biographic uh, history and protection, meaning like safety acknowledgements. But but obviously the kidnappers kidnapped me anyways, didn't they? I'm still being held hostage here in Indianapolis, Indiana. And uh, But anyways, there's a lot of, there's lots of information and there's supposed to be fan clubs and how you guys doing? And that are supposed to have daily updates, uh, postal mail updates, like all the celebrities need to know which ones have sent letters, haven't received none of the letters from anybody, or, uh, you know, which people have tried to do phone calls, make YouTube videos, if you tried to do internet or Instagram phone calls, make a YouTube video saying you were able to get through the phone or you weren't. There's only a few people that's been able to get through on the Instagram. So if you're a celebrity, male, female, old Hollywood, new Hollywood, and hello Alec Baldwin and Stephen Baldwin, somebody just communicated or something. But, it, you know, in reference to people trying to get through on video phone, make a YouTube video. Time and date it. Say, hey, I tried to video phone him, you know, 10 minutes ago and couldn't get through on the phone. Make a quick YouTube video about it. You know, time and date it. Make a lot of YouTube videos or Instagram or Twitter or, or something just to, you know, put a stamp on it, to put a, put a documentation in the in the records, you know what I mean? Very important, ladies and gentlemen and friendly people. Lots of things of importance. And in reference to the Indiana media, they've not been doing any stories on me that I know of. And, you know, they're supposed to. They're supposed to be doing stories on who I am and things about me, you know, and my mother and father. All 50 states are supposed to be doing stories about my mother and father and me because I'm the only child of my mother and father. And my parents own businesses in all 50 states. So people need to check the databases on the Internet to see how many stories or articles or newspaper uh, clippings or uh, news broadcasts that there have been about me. And don't forget, you know, I had to perform as different artists in the media to, for, you know, friendly acknowledgements and for uh, protection reasons. The only time I've ever been protected in certain acknowledgements is when I've been in the media or when I've been on movies or TV or uh, music, you know, in the studio work, you know, singing songs kind of thing, you know. Or stage, you know, music videos or whatever. Or directing a film or, you know, being in films or the modeling industry. 
most people know that, you know, when I did modeling or when, you know, I'm always a model, supermodel. I'm a royal supermodel, I guess you'd say. But, uh, you know, in reference to uh, the history of things, you know, I'm, I, I've only been protected when I've been, you know, at my mother and father's mansions or a new mansion. I need, you know, I'm not sure what to say about having anything, I haven't received anything in the mail from anywhere. But, you know, I've only been protected at uh, the my mother and father's property. And I don't usually go to other people's houses either. So most people know that. So when they got some shit going on where somebody made up some shit, nine times out of ten, I wasn't there. So when somebody makes up shit, they're just making up lies. The, meaning like people trying to make up incidences. People trying to frame me. People trying to slander my character and things. But, uh, so in reference to the situation, if anybody sends anything in the mail, I haven't received anything yet. If anybody makes, you know, or uh, tries to call video chat, you know, make some YouTube videos to the, about it if you didn't get through. Because usually if somebody calls or like uh, if a celebrity calls, you know, I don't know, somebody communicates something about Vince Vaughn. He's on my Instagram too. There's a lot of celebrities on my Instagram, but a lot of them haven't gotten through. And I've tried to Instagram phone call them. But I haven't gotten through. It always says they don't answer, or or when they've tried to call me, I don't even. It doesn't even show up. Even on the live uh, live streaming or whatever. No. So, anyways, they're choking me on the satellite. But you know, I've performed in different media as different colored artists, different you know friendly race acknowledgments. So you know, it's a very serious thing. You know, they're supposed to go public with information of things, especially when they're not giving me my revenues. And the Indiana government has not paid me my celebrity wages, even though I'm being held hostage. Time is money. I understand that. And they're still blocking me from my mother and father's mansions. And I haven't received anything in the postal mail. And don't forget, these people are preventing me from riding my e-bike. There's probably what? 5,000 or maybe even 10,000 people in Indiana that have e-bikes. And they're out riding theirs all the time. They don't have a goddamn problem at all. But then this satellite man's terrorizing my life all the time. They're still hitting me in the teeth. My teeth came from my mother and father's genetics, man. Not from your race, government man. My teeth are real. And you've damaged them and you must get prosecuted.